So, so Moises works with a group called uh, Shikam, which is the, the word for worship, and they train up dancers and people playing tambourine and flags, and, and I'll let him talk about that, but, but you know how if you're a musician and, and you're hearing a good country song, it's like, man, I need a little more cowbell. <laughs> I need more cowbell. Well, well, Moses is our cowbell today because... Because we need, we need the dance, we need the tambourine, we need the expressions, the physical expressions of the dance, of what God's doing, because it, it's happening all around. So, so we're really excited, we, we've got to spend a little time together, and, and uh, we're excited to have Moises here in, in the group from El Shaddai. You guys were awesome last night, by the way, it just really blessed my heart, so I'm going to turn it over to him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the introduction on there. Okay, like I said before, I am not a preacher. I'm actually a teacher. So if you guys want to come around and sit on the floor, I think I feel more comfortable like that. And you guys might need to relax your muscles a little bit more. So come onto the floor, come up. Come down, come down. If you want to bring your Bible, if you want to bring a uh, pen and paper, that would be great because I'm going to give you some scripture so you can read over. And then I'm going to take you through the uh, biblical study, and then I'm going to show you what the tumbering is, how to play it, how to put some symbols together, some patterns together, and then we're going to do a, a dance demonstration with the tumbering and everything. As you can see, already, I, I actually have an accent. Um, no. I'm actually not, not Asian, Filipino, or anything like that. I'm actually Hispanic. So. More power to you. Yes, there you go. <laughs> so uh, I just want to start and, and ask you a few questions, first of all. Um, how many of you actually have time, since we're musicians and, and singers and all that, how many of you have actually got, gotten back into the Word of God and search if your instrument is actually in the Bible, if it's mentioned in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. It is. All the instruments are mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. And basically, me, I actually been training in dance for the last couple of years, and my passion for the Lord or through the creative arts is actually dancing the tambourine, the flags, the streamers, and some other instruments that we have um, with us. So I'm going to take you step by step and see where we're the Lord, uh, where, where, where God lead us to. And if you have any questions, just please raise your hands and stuff like that, okay? So I'm going to give you the first scripture. If someone wants to go and look that description and then go ahead and read over that, that would be great. Um, let's see. Let's jump into um, Ezekiel 28:13. Just say amen if you have it. If you don't have it, I'll read over it. So Ezekiel, Ezekiel 28, 13. And I titled, I titled this section, The Tampering Have Been Used Since the Day of Creation. Amen? Go for it. 13, right? Yes. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. Sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, emerald, and carbuncle, and crafted in gold were your settings and your engravings. On the day that you were created, they were prepared. Amen. So, who are we actually talking about? Lucifer. Who is that? Lucifer. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> so actually what God is telling us there is that whenever God created Lucifer, he created with him the instruments. He created the the timbrels, he created the harps, he created all the uh, string instruments, he created the pipes. Yes? It says the workmanship. It was created for him to praise God. Yes? So God, it's been used in this instrument since the beginning of creation. And then guess who was that creation? It was one of his angels. One of his angels. He was actually given to him to praise God. Yes? But then Lucifer actually said, you know what? I, I want to be like God. I want to be like, like him, doing all these good things and doing the, the, the wonders that, that he does. And guess what happened? 
He got in trouble. Yes, and God said, where, where did he send it? Are you sure it wasn't to earth? He got kicked out of heaven. Yes, but where? To where? Nobody knows? What I like about this passage is that God had given so much power. God has, had given me so much, how can I say this, um, authority to do the things that God can actually was, was able to do. And then he took it in a, in, a, in, a, in a bad way where he said, you know what, I want to be like him. I want to be like him. I don't want to be. I want to do this like, like he does. And then God said, no. So, and also he was one of the beautiful, beautiful cher cher cherubims for him, yeah? He was put on all these stones, and I, and I call it bling bling. He was actually, he had some bling bling on him. He had goals, he had stones, he had everything that you can imagine in his, in his costumes and everything. So God said, you know what, I'm just going to go and, and, and uh, send you somewhere. So let's go to... The let's see, um, <coughs> let's go to Ezekiel 20, 28 16. Got it. You got it? Okay, and this is actually a title this one Destruction of the Cherub. This is just 16. Yes, through you. the abundance of your commerce, you were filled with lawlessness, violence, and you sin. Therefore, I cast you out as a profane thing from the mountain of God, and the guardian cherub drove you out from the midst of the stones of fire. And he wow, and here he goes. See? After God given him all the, all the glory that he, that God wanted to give him, God took that away. See? And some of our, some of our talents today, they're actually being taken away from the, you know, from the church by the enemy. Yes? Our singers, our musicians, our dancers, our whatever you want to call it, it has been pulled out from the church. And you know why? Why? Why is that? Why is that? Because Lucifer was the worship leader, and you take out the worship and the dance and all the creative arts, then there goes the worship before. Exactly. Anything. Exactly. Satan wants to bring forth everything that belongs to the church. Satan wants to destroy, destroy everything that belongs to the church. You and I belong to the belong to the church. Yes, you and I belong to Christ. So therefore, the enemy is actually trying to destroy us. But you know what? All that I can do is give them like praise to God and say, God, this is how I can fight the enemy. It might be with with a, it might be with a tambourine, it might be with the streamers, it might be with the flags. That is how I can praise God. This is how I can actually get through God and say, you know what, even though that I have this instrument in my hand, I know that you, Lord, you will make war, war for me, you know, before my enemies. Amen? So God, he, he said, you know what, I'm just going to throw you in the fire. I'm just going to leave you there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, do anything else with you. So, as you can see, the temple was actually created since the beginning. It was given to him. He said, no, I don't want it. I just want to do something else. And then God said, no, you know what? I'm God. And this is my, my land. This is, this, is, this is who I am. And I'm going to send you somewhere else. So he, throw, he threw um, Lucifer to, into the fire. Um, so that's why I was asking, are you sure he was sent to the land? But you know what? We're not... Some of us don't go into the Word of God. Some of us don't read the Word of God. And in order for you and I to be uh, special uh, weapons in God, you need to understand what the Bible says. You need to understand what God says. Yeah? Because some of us don't read either you know, once a day or once a week the Bible. But we want to minister, but we want to worship God. But we want to praise God. We, we, don't, we don't need those dancers now. We don't need those musicians. We need those musicians that will say, you know what, I, I prayed, I washed everything that, I, that I've done through the blood of God. I washed everything that I've done through the word of God. That will be the dancers that you want. That will be the musicians that you want. That will be the singers that you want in the church today. 
Yes. Some of us, we just stand up front and we just worship and worship and nothing happens. Nothing happens. And you know what? That's because we actually try from the inside. Yes. So, just to be a little bit of thinking on that. Um, and then, whenever God actually threw Lucifer into the fire, he said, you know what? Everything that I, what, that I gave you, I'm going to use it now back into my kingdom. I'm going to use it for the purpose that it was created for. Yes? So God took everything from him. He took it back to him and said, this is going to be for my praise. This is going to be for my worship. This is going to be for, you know, people who wants to do my will, not their will. Yes? So, and um, let's see. Let me, let me jump really quick onto another scripture here. Um, let me take you to what now God actually took the tambourine for, and now he wants to use it for. Um, can someone look up Isaiah 30:32? the Lord strikes them with his rod of punishment, his people will celebrate with tambourines and harps. Lifting his mighty arm, he will fight. Amen. Um, there's actually another version here which says, and in every place where the stuff of, of, of punishment passes, which the Lord lays on him, it will be with the tambourines and the harps. Amen. And in battles of brandishing, he will fight with it. I just want to make a stop right here and just go over the word brand, brandishing, brandishing. That is to shake or wave, yes? So God is not going to come physically and say, you know what, because you've done this with me, I'm going to go physically with you now. No, God is saying, you know what, I have the instruments, I have the singers, I have the musicians, and I'm going to put them right in front of there so they can start the praise and worship before we actually go to battle. Yeah. Wow, that's powerful. Yes? God didn't have to come physically and say, you know what, I'm just going to slap you and you can go away. <laughs> right? Not at all. He said, I have my instruments, I have my singers, and I have everything that I've created for this, for this purpose. Yes? So God is taking now the tambourine and he's going to get against Lucifer. Yes? He's actually taking the tambourine, he's shaking it right in front of him and he says, this is mine. This is mine. Yes? You belong to God. You are the instrument that God has chosen to bring forth the praise, to bring forth the, the worship. Yes? This physical body doesn't count. Doesn't count. But whenever you come spiritually and you say, you know what, Lord, I am the instrument that you have created. I am the instrument that you want to use in order for you to bring the worship, in order for you to bring the praise. That's who we are. That's actually what, you know, why we were created. So God is here with the tambourine, fighting against the enemy, and he's not, he is not, you know, physically attacking the enemy. He's saying, you know what, with the tambourines, with the harps, with the strings. The strings is more like your vocal cords whenever you sing out loud, yeah, and you impact, you know, whoever you actually in singing, in singing in front of, and... The pipes is actually your trachea, if you, if you know a little bit of uh, anatomy, your pipes will be your trachea. That makes it sound beautiful. Yes? If you use that in worship, in prayer, oh my gosh, that, that, that is powerful. Yes? But you have to know how to use it. You have to know how to sing it. I don't, I don't sing. As you can see this morning, I don't sing, I don't do that. I do dance, I do my flags and everything, but um, uh, that's, you know, that's where the Lord wants you to show who you are, who, were, you know, you were created to worship God. God gave you these instruments. God gave you the hands to clap. God gave you the feet to dance. Yes? God gave you all this for his worship. Yes? 
So now God is taking all of the instruments that he had created to come against the, the enemy. Yes? But, and then God said, you know what? If I know that I'm, I'm going to go and do battle, if I know that I'm going to do, I'm going to fight with you, I'm going to take all this and just use it for worship. God is not one of those gods that, you know, I'm just going to go fight, get in trouble with you, and then leave you alone. And that's it. No. God, God wants to come and destroy whatever the enemy has set up. Yes? Some of us, including me, um, we walk in, in God's path. And sometimes we actually get distracted for either good things, for either bad things. But we don't come back to the path that, the, that God has already set for us. Yes? So how do we actually move from that path to go back to the path that God, God has already created for us? One way is to pray fast and everything. But if you really, really are into the Lord, if you really love, love the Lord, then you will make a change, a quick change. Yes? You're going this way. But this is not where I want to go. This is where the enemy wants me to go. I don't want to do that. I have to make a quick turn and say, okay, Lord, here I am. Use me. Wash me. For your glory. That's where he wants to be. So, um, this is just the instrument that God wants to use. But the... Um, the ultimate, the ultimate instruments that God wants to use is you and I. Yeah. That's it. Yes? This is only an extension of what can do through the instruments. It's more powerful, it is powerful, if he uses us directly. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yes? So if, um, since God has already taken care of everything from the enemy, he's already fight with it and you know the enemy is destroyed and everything now he's actually bringing everything into his praise into his presence into his worship let's do psalms 149.3 <coughs> and then someone can someone else can look up psalms 154 so psalms 149.3 and psalms 154 and 193 is let them praise his name with dancing Making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. Or harp. And the harp, yes. So, as you can see now, God has, God actually brought all the instruments now back into his worship, back into, back into his praise. And that's actually where we are at this time. We are worshipers. We are not the dancers. We are not singers. We are not musicians. We are worshipers that he wants to use 100%. Not a 50%. Not a 75%, but he wants to use us 100% on this. Are we, are we ready for that? Are you ready for that? Am I ready for that? This morning, um, one of the sisters was actually dancing uh, with the fan streamers, with the streamers, and with the flags and everything, and I was actually just looking over there. And my heart was, was you know, it was pulling me to go and grab something and start praising the Lord. That's who I am. This is what he actually has called me to do. But you know what? I resisted. I resisted for 55 minutes. And I was counting. <laughs> and I was counting. And I said, Lord, I'm the one who's going to be teaching this, this, you know, this lesson. I'm the one who's going to be, you know, doing the word, doing the, the study and everything. But I can't go and just grab something and praise you with that. Am I ready? And you know what? And whenever I came and grabbed the flags, the music stops. <laughs> I said, it was not even five minutes. What happened? But you know what? I was not obedient to God. I was not obedient to him as to, you know, you can grab whatever you have in your hands. You can jump. You can lift your hands. You can shout. You can sing. Was I ready this morning? I don't think that I was ready this morning. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for God to use your, your vocals, to use your talents? And then, and then the drama came. And then the first part of the drama was actually, you know, the family and the good stuff. And, 
and the sore word was actually coming into my mind, and I didn't say anything. That's the second time. And I said, really, Lord, like, <laughs> am I worshiping you now? Am I, am I giving you the praise that you, that you deserve? I don't think I was. Sounds like you had the monkey on the back. Yeah. Exactly. See? But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to shake it off. Sometimes you, you have to speak. Sometimes you have to say the words. And say, you know what? I forgive that. Yes. So I said, okay, probably that the second part is going to come. So good. Yes. It's going to come. So I waited. And I waited. And the word just came out. Sore. And that was it. I was quiet. It came out from here. It was just not something that I, that I was thinking of, but the word was there. All that I had to do was just release the word. All that I had to do was just speak the word. And the sword actually represents what? The word of God. With the angels on there, you had, you had the angels, you had your sword, you had everything on there. So trust me, the Lord was actually doing a fight. Yes. Yes. Maybe not physically, but the spiritual. He was doing the the sword and everything. So I said, wow, Lord. So I, I, I said, forgive me. I said, forgive me because probably I was not ready, probably I was not paying attention, probably it was just uh, maybe because I was actually nervous, maybe because this is a new thing for me to be teaching in English, because I do teach in Spanish. Um, so I said, really, this is, this, is, this is who I am, this is what you have for me. And he said, you don't, you don't have to be 100% ready. All you have to do is be obedient good, yeah. and be ready for it. Yeah. So if you and I can be ready yeah. to go through all these seminars and go through all this, I think that the Lord wants to do something. Yes. Don't you think? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. If I'm sitting here eight hours and if I don't learn anything, this training is in vain. But if I only take what God has given in the last three hours and work on it, more than ready. Yeah. I am more than ready on that. Yes? Yes? Well, I'm sorry that you waited because when, as soon as you walked over there and grabbed those two flags this morning, I mean, joy just went <laughs> <laughs> So it was yes. awesome. Thank you. Um, so see, as you can see, you, you never know who you're going to touch, you never know who you're going to fart. Yes? But actually, you know what, it, it was actually just me, I was a little bit concerned us, you know, teaching and getting this out. And, and then I was just, you know, just calm down. And then Austin was, well, do you need the, the church back? Do you need this back? Do you need... And I was just, hmm, Austin, just relax. <laughs> I think I'm nervous. I think I'm nervous. I said, just relax and see what, you know, what God, God wants to meet you. So yes, I think if you wait on, if you wait, everything is going to come to pass. I think if you pray, everything is going to come to pass. Yes, sometimes we pray, but we don't, we don't wait on it. We want everything answered like that. God doesn't work like that. He works on His time. He works in His time. All that you have to do is just wait and be ready for it. Amen. Um, let's see, let's go back to Psalm, what was it, 150, 154? Psalm 150, verse 4. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and peace. Amen. Again, this is just an instrument that God wants to use. We are the ultimate instrument. We are. And I'm positive on that. Are you positive? Are you 100% positive? Yes, are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, one thing that I think is kind of cool is the very first human worship leader ever written in scripture was in the book of uh, Exodus, and it was Miriam. Right after they crossed the Red Sea, she picked up the timbrel and danced, and that was the first time people were used in scripture to lead worship. That is correct. And Miriam was actually a prophetess, so that means she was actually, whenever she took the timbrel, she was prophesying in front of all these people. Mm -hmm. She was going in front of the people, and she was with the timbrel, and she was dancing, everything. Um, the reason why I didn't put that verse in here, it was actually because we are, as a church, it's more for ladies, it's more for women, for the tambourine to play. Mm -mm. 
No, we need the dudes to do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. And if the men can actually get that into their minds, that is not for women. It's what God wants. It, it's what God wants. Yes, I've been playing the chamber for the last 17 years, and trust me, I had a lot of gossip, a lot of rejection, a lot of pushback, not only from the altar, from the singers, from the leaders, from the pastors, period. But you know what? If I'm 100% sure where I stand, and that I belong to God, that I belong to Him 100%, then that's where I stand. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I play the tambourine, I don't care if I dance, if I lift my hands. Hey, that's what I'm calling to do. That's what I'm called to do. This is my worship. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what I know. This is how I can praise God. Mm -hmm. Yes? So, God wants to use you regardless of regardless of. If you know one step, if you know the two step, if you know the three step, or even if you're a ballerina, if, even if you know how to dance, even, even know if, if you know how to step with the feet, even know how, you know, hey, God wants to use you, a hundred percent. He wants to use you. Whatever you have, He wants to use you. If you have one talent, work on that talent. Multiply that talent. You know what's going to happen if you don't? It's going to take it away. Like it did with Lucifer. It's going to take everything away if you don't work on it, if you don't act on it. Yes? Mm -hmm. when, I, when I teach uh, during seminars and everything, I bring everybody together because this is more comfortable, I think. This is more, you know, teaching, not a preacher. Uh, and what I tell them is that, you know what? I can only impart what God has given me. Yes. But you're the ones who have who have to work on it. You are the ones who has to pull that that forward so that God can can use it. Amen. Does anybody know dance? A little bit of dance, ballet, jazz. Yes. So you know that there are names, that there's steps, you know, you point, you a curtsy, you know, your demi pliés, you know, your full pliés, you know, your, your full rod, huh? The releve, so you know all those things, right? Chasse, what else? Chate, it's a jump. Holé. And then a holé. <laughs> yes? Break a leg. So, <laughs> break a leg, there you go. Ooh. So, yes. Great kid. That's good. 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 <laughs> so, after studying a little bit of the tambourine and everything, where, you know, how it was created, who was given to, and God took it, God fought for it, brought it back into his kingdom and everything. Now I can go and develop something for someone else. Meaning, writing symbols, writing scriptures, bringing, bringing everything back again to the church, bringing it back. See, everything that, that we do in the ministry is if God has given you a vision, write it down. Just don't keep it here. Yes? You can pass it on speaking, you can, you can pass it on to someone else, but if you have it in writing, they will be able to see it. They will be able to touch it and feel it. Yes? So what God has given, given us for the last couple of, um, of years is putting the, the movement into symbols, into patterns, and then bringing those pa patterns and putting, putting those pa patterns into scriptures. So basically, let, let me take a little bit of, of the symbols. The symbols are actually, you know, how you play the tambourine. Yes? You know that you can play the tambourine like this, you know that you can shake the tambourine. But is there like a, is there, any, is there a structure to it? Is there any, any manners to it? I don't think there is one right now. You have it? We have copies on it. Well, what is the name of the book? It's through Shaka. Through Shaka? So Shaka Ministries is actually one of the ministries that I've been working with for a long, long time. God had gave him the revelation of how to put all this together. Yes, and that's... Mine's from um, Christ for the Nation, actually. Right, that's where we were a couple of years ago. So, right, so God gave the vision to um, Andrew McGrath, that, that's her name, who developed everything. 
And she was collecting everything, you know, she was reading through the Bible, but she said, how can I put this in order for people to watch, to listen, to learn? So God gave her this um, kind of um, symbols to put, to put with a tamper. Can I use this as an eraser? As I was saying before, um, you know, you can play the tambourine with a tap. You know, just a regular tap. Tap. That's it. But how would you represent that tap? Any ideas, anybody? A dot. A tap. Okay. Good. So we call it a tap, right? How would you? Showing symbols a shape. Crazy line, circle T. Okay, so we can do kind of like that. A shape. How can you show uh, a sip? You know what a sip is? Kind of a. Okay, we can do the. A what? A sip, CIP. CIP, like a sip. Yes, no. Can you show us? I can show you what a tip is. So the tip is this one. Oh, wow. Okay. How would you put that into a tip? How would you show this move? Which we call it loop. How would you describe it? Or how would you call it? You can draw a circle. Okay. Yeah. 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 How would you do like a script? Shape is different from a script. How will you put this one into? <laughs> this is what we call it a uh, check. The wave. The wave. The wave. Sharp. Sure. Have a wave. A big wave. Yeah. Well, sharp. Maybe sharp. Sharp. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, God got God has given us the talent not only to break music. You can do the thing, but he's able to give us a little bit of his creation, a little bit of his creativity. Yes, but we are the ones who have to pull it out and have to um, see it. Yes, by faith. What? What is faith? Come on, what is faith? Amen. So, with that being said, all those symbols. I'm going to give you the ones that the Lord gave The timbre is a circle instrument, right? But you have to use an attack. So the way that we do it is a circle, and then you do a tap. You put a number, number one. So, okay, a tap is two, but then what? How many times should I cut? One, two, three, two, three, two, three, um, we said, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the Lord wants us to move. He wants to tap everything. So God gave us the north. So God gave us the south, the north, and the east, and the west. And that's my tumbling right there. Yes? Okay. So the one, but I don't know music. I don't know, I don't know what else to play with. Lord, show me how to play the timbre. Okay, so I can try one, get in the south. South, north, east, and west. Okay, I'll get in the south. What about the north? Okay, sure, we can do that. Okay, so what I do is draw a number, draw the top again, or draw the circle, and put a plus sign on. So if I do another number, what is that? 
the Yes, that's the downbeat, that's the upbeat. That's how you can put whenever you put a whole thing together. So you do one in the south. That's called So you tap one in the south. Then you tap one in the north. And then you tap another in the south. So it's going to give you one and two. See? You're reading music already. Mm -hmm. Yes? This is how we actually put symbols. This is how we actually put patterns together to play the tumble. Of course, you, you play the tumble like you turn. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you have the knowledge, if you have the understanding where they're coming from, if you have the understanding on how it applies to the music, on how to minister, hey, that is powerful. That is very powerful. So, okay, we move on to the top. Now we get the sit. You know? So do a triangle and the put the number. So there's your sit. Your sit is represented as a triangle. And whenever you see the symbol here, all you have to do is put it. Your shape. Your shape is represented with a circle. And right in the middle is kind of a thunder thing. So you shake your tongue. Your swivel, we were correct on the swivel. Your swivel goes different ways. <coughs> and that's going to be your foot. So you can swivel this way, you can swivel up and down. Yes? Now we move on to the loops. The loops, we were right. You can do the loops like that, and that will represent your loops. If there's a number inside your loop, that means you can tap your tampering whatever you see those numbers. So you do your tap, you do your loop, and at the same time you actually tap. Yes? Um, we do our check. Our check is going to go like this, or it's going to go from side to side. So you can do the check like this, or you can do the side to side. So these are different symbols that the Lord has given us for the last couple of years, and we have put all those movements into what we call patterns. Now, okay, so we put everything together, the Lord said, okay, very well, but it has to be based on the word. That's what he said. He said, okay, cool, you already gave us the technique, you already gave us the symbols, you already gave us all that you wanted to do on this. Now, put it into the scripture. Okay, I'm going to give you a simple training. The Trinity is composed of what? Alright, but okay, we said, okay, Trinity, how will we represent those three elements in one pack? The triangle. We can start with the triangle if you like. But there's nothing on there. It's just empty. Right? There's nothing on there. So we went ahead and we present each element for each person in God as one plus two plus. And then if you move up actually, you can move this way, you can do three plus four plus. If you actually go this way, so you can connect everything on there. You put Five plus six plus. And see how I circled those? Because that will be tapped. But wait, Trinity, it should be one, right? How can I connect those three? Large circle around it. Mm -hmm. You can put a circle on it. What else you can do? Mm -hmm. Can you connect everything? What God shows is a shape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all in one. Isn't that powerful? So you don't have to go and say, you know what, I learned the scripture to shrink. I'm just going to show it to you. Did 
repeat that again? Sure. It goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And you turn your part of your pattern again. Yes? So that's how God showed showed us how to connect everything. See, it's now it's just not. Oh, I'm supposed to do the and I'm going to say something, and I'll be straight here. Wait, you have to have an understanding of the things that you do. You have to understand what God has given you as a talent and pull and, and bring that, that out. Yes? Well, I think, you know, Austin, it comes to the maturity, moving into maturity in, in the gifting of whatever God's called you to do. As a child, you're just going to shake it. But exactly. as you become mature, <clears throat> But whenever you already been fed with the Word of God, you already been prayed through on the Word of God and everything, you already fast and everything, then God is going to show you a bigger picture of the things that He wants to do. A pattern. Yes? That's, that's actually what the Lord has showed us right now for the last, for the last uh, years. And then we have created books and manuals and stuff like that. Yes, Austin. Can you give us some examples of some of the other patterns? Just sure. I'm going to have one of them so they can do the patterns as I call them. Okay. Um, and then, thank you. And then basically what we're going to do uh, for the last 10, 10, 15 minutes, probably just show you a dance with the steps and everything that the Lord has given us. And we have shown this, this uh, music and everything, and everybody would like to, you know, the, to learn it and everything. And what we said first is pray, make sure that this is your call. Because we don't want to push you in something that is just going to be like right now and today and that's it. And then live it for the rest of your life. You know, we want someone that is going to be standing there for God. That is able to pursue what it has for them. And also to be flexible on the things that, that, that the Lord wants. Amen. So the other pattern is called the candlestick. And this one represents the candlestick that was actually the temple of God. And it represents the, I think Austin was giving you, was actually giving a teaching on the, on the, on the candlestick. And that shows your, your emotions and stuff like that. But, but we want to shine for the Lord. We want to bring everything that, that the Lord has given us at the time and bring it and show it to you. So candlestick actually starts with, um, Break this down. So candlestick actually sh starts with a swivel. So you swivel from left to right. That's your one. Now you hit on your two. You come back. Three, and you hit on your four. You go back again. Five, you hit on your six. And then there is a connection. And five, five, and A and N. Thank you. Try it again. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and A and Yes. So your candlestick, it will show um, from left to right. One, again, it's going to go. One, two. And then it goes back to three, three, four. And it goes back to five, six, and seven, and one, two, three, four, five, actually, and six, and seven, and eight. So this one is supposed to show the arms of the candlestick that is burning in the in the temple, and then the seven eight represents the man. So everything that we show it should be shined. It should be um, visible to what other people want to see. We should be visible. We should be clear to show our uh, testimony. That's what it means. Yeah. So candlesticks, that's actually what it presents now. <clears throat> we said, okay, Lord, you just gave us the pattern, you gave us the scripture, you gave us the movement, but this is stiff. 
we're not moving, we're not doing anything, we'll just bring the tumor and that's it. So, as a dance teacher, we actually added stuff to it, like bend your knees, that's an MEPA, uh, point your, your foot, that's a tendu, um, you know, stretch, make sure you stretch, make sure you smile whenever you actually bring the tongue ring, make sure you, you, you feel rejoice in the world whenever you're doing this stuff, yeah? So God has given us different patterns, we have about 56 beginners, intermediate, advanced one, and advanced two on the pattern. The advanced one, advanced two, they're actually more dancey, where you can actually, you know, dance and break your leg and everything. So, yes, yes, so there's more advanced patterns to this. But this is actually the simple, the simple patterns that we, whatever we go and teach, we can, you know, we show, we want to show the simple, so you can go and take that home and practice at home, and see what, what, what else the Lord has, you know, has for you. So, with all, with all, with all this information and everything, we, gather all the information, put the manuals together, put the teaching, and then um, at the end we actually, you know, tell our students, okay, now it's time for you to go and set up one or, you know, like, uh, to create one, yes? Okay, that's what we want. We want to pull everything that is within us out and show to the world and show to brothers and sisters and show to the to the people that we can do this. God, he, God, God has given us the, the talent to create, like Austin said, to co-create with him <coughs> on the things that, that he has given us. Amen? And you can use some of the patterns also with the flags, with the, with the streamers, they call the same, just you know, different instruments and stuff like that. Um, the other one that we have is actually hope. So hope um, it starts from your left diagonal, front. So you shake hope. One, two. One, two, three, four, and yes. It's very simple. And then you put the scriptures to it, it becomes powerful. What I like about the top ring is whenever you, you hear ministry, you're ministering the word of God. You're just not ministering a, a, a movement that is that is not it. You're ministering, you put together the, the rhythm, you go with the music. We actually go for the, um, not the upbeat, but we actually go with the downbeat. So we actually go with the drums. Um, this instrument is more of a drum, it's a percussion, so it's a very noisy. So what I tell my students is, please make sure whenever you, you, know, you finish the worship and everything, that don't make any noise, put it on your waist, walk out, and so that way you don't distract anybody, yeah? So as you can see, there is discipline. Discipline, there is actually um, time that you can spend on this, but you know what, it's worth it. I've been doing this job for 17 years, yes? And what the Lord has for me, it's beyond, beyond what, imagine, what I actually imagined. So imagine the things that the Lord can do for you. Yes? So, now what we can do is actually show the as David did dance, and you will see, you will hear, and you will see the the coordination between the song and the patterns, like combat, celestial. Um, you will see shield, the way that the way that shield sounds. Um, you will see grace. You know, you have to be graceful whenever you come to worship. You just can't come say, Lord, I need this and I want this and I'm gone. You have to be graceful at how you ask unto the Lord and how you actually will receive from the Lord. Yes? So, let me show you grace and just give you a little bit of uh, explanation what grace is. Ready? And one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and 11 and 12 and 13, 14, 15, 16. When the ladies are actually playing this tambourine, what, I, what we teach them is not to, whenever you bend down, don't stick this out, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. so, but rather bring it down. So whenever you do your step, you do one, two, you go up, and then you bring it down. See the difference on there? Mm -hmm. We don't want to show this to to the congregation. What we want to show worship. Yes? And that's what it's called grace. Bah, 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 bah. 
you, you do the sounds you do the moments on the floor. That's what grace is. Grace is not, yes, I want to worship you, Lord, and you're showing everything to the congregation. <laughs> and then you have your customs like all the way here, and then your teachers like have ways. Mm. Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yes, trying to be Christians. You see what I'm saying? You see where, where, where the enemy has stolen all that? Yeah. Yes? We need to bring all those back. Everything back. So that's why they actually dress like this. This one is supposed to be a leotard. Um, we have our Shaka dance t-shirts, which is uh, Chinese dance. Um, and then we have our Palazzo's uh, pants. And then they're supposed to wear some hose at the bottom. And then the dance shoes on there. So we protect them from showing their body, because that's a big no Yes? This temple, it's holy. We have to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, we have to keep it holy. Yes? Are you holy? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just want, I just want to put her on the spot. <laughs> yes, so she's been with me, uh, she's been with me for the last uh, seven or eight years. Seven or eight years, yes. And we have to train everybody who's actually coming behind us. We have to train, train them to be worshipers. Yes. When I say, whenever you come and worship with me, I want to see you in your tight skirt, tight pants. None, none of that. You go and dress. You go and change. Yes. What we want to bring is the worship out of us. Bring the worship out of us. Bring the praise out of us. I don't want to show this. I don't want to show that. I don't want to... Hey, that's temptation. Yes? So ladies, be careful if you're dancing and dancing. Be careful on how you dress. Be careful on how you actually address some, some people. Yes? The way that you, the way that you dress, address people, the way you will be addressed. The same way you will be addressed. So, um, what do you think? Good stuff, bad stuff, yeah, not at all. I don't understand it, I don't care, I'm not actually a singer. <laughs> like this morning, oops, I don't think, oops. Just, just do it, huh? Just do it. Okay. Yes. So, you will see from this, I, I really, really like this, all this song, they're connected and everything. And the reason why I like this, this um, song so much is because you have praise, you have worship, and you have warfare. You have your joys and all those good things from the Spirit. Yes? All those good from the Spirit. Do we know the Spirit? What the fruit of the Spirits are? Yes? Do we know? Are you sure? Wait, 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 wait. wait. But do you know how to put it like in sign or your own movement? You know how to do that? We're learning. We're learning. Yes? Okay, tell me the first one. Love. Love. Wait. Wait. Love. How will you show love? How will you show it? Ah. Love. <laughs> I just want to show you love. You will bring everything that you have and put it on your chest and say, this is my love. This is, this is my talent. Love it. You have to love it. Love. No. Right? Whenever you come to the Lord, you don't come like, Lord, I need this, I need that. No. You come unto the Lord and you will say, Lord, I love you, I need you, forgive me for I sin. This is what I need from you. Don't you come like that? Mm -hmm. Or you just come like, yes, Lord. Okay, this is what I need, bye. See you later. <laughs> right? You have to come with love. You have to bring everything that you love, bring, bring it into your arms and show that you love. Love. Everybody do this. Love. Like this. Good. Which one is the second one? Joy. Joy. No, joy. Woo! Ah! Joy! Yeah. Yeah. Everybody do like this. Joy. And look up and say, Joy. Lord. Joy. Ah. See how different it is? Feel better. Oh. You will stretch out your hands and you will say, Joy. You're stretching, you're doing something. You're breaking something in the spiritual realm. It's just not here in, in the physical anymore. Now you're praising God. Which one is the next one? Peace. Shalom. Peace. Sign language? Peace? 
put your hands together like this. Try to like this. And say, peace. Ha. You releasing all the peace that God has into the place where you are. You're releasing it. You're releasing it. It's not, Lord, I pray, I pray for peace. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Lord, I pray that you will give peace and understanding to whoever is with you. Yeah. Makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Yes. Next one. How would you do patience? <laughs> 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 I'll wait. Is this patience? No, I would do a rest. You will do patient. Be patient on the things that just wait. He's the only one who can do it. So you want to wait. So if you're right handed, wait for him to pick you up and take you away. You're right handed. <laughs> What's with the thumb? Is it like thumbing a ride? Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually be patient. Just be open unto what God wants to do. And you wait. And it's not patience. Pay. He's nearing. That's what he said. He's like. Right. So if you're right-handed, I'm actually doing it. Right. <laughs> so you do patience. Yes. The next one, what? Well, which one is the next one? Kindness. And then you will wait for kindness. You're open to the kindness. You're open. You wait for your patience. You wait for your time. Next one? Goodness. How would you do it? Ah. Now it comes from here to the outside. You give it all. Goodness. Which one is the next one? How would you do gentle? How would you do gentle? How can you be gentle? Mm. Yeah. You can do mm. gentle. <laughs> or you can do gentle. Mm. Yes, you can do gentle. Mm. The next one? Faithfulness. Faithful. <coughs> How would you represent Standing. Faithful? Standing. Mm. Mm. How would you do faithful? Just to be in the Word of God. Be faithful on what has came. This represents divine. Be faithful. Whenever you go to the court, right, if you receive a ticket, like a traffic ticket, you go to the court and the court says, put your hand on here, you have to be faithful on what you have to say. Faithful. Mm -hmm. yeah. The next one? Hmm? How would you present self-control? <laughs> Ready? Yep. Control. <laughs> you be control. Yes. Some of our brothers and sisters will take you from you. They want to take you out from your place. Out from your comfort zone. Yes? They want to get you mad. They want to get you angry. But if I have control in the things that I do and how God wants me to do it, I have control of those things. I'm not anymore like struggling, I'm not anymore. <coughs> I will control myself, I will control the things that I have to control. God gives me control. You see how the difference is now between the spirits? Cool. Yes? Very cool. You bring everything that you have, you bring everything that God has given you at the time, you bring it down, you put it into work, you put it into options, you put it into movements, you put it into patterns, and you use whatever God has given you that will help out your time. Cool. And this is actually more for kids, so. Well, you know, yes. whenever we teach, whenever yeah. we teach for kids and everything, they don't know the fruit of the spirit and everything. Okay, let's let's do it. You know, let me put you down on your level. Let me let me get level up you and everything. See what the things that we can do. So you will show them all the, all those little tricks and, and movements and stuff like that, so they can actually memorize the scripture. We just did. See, that is cool, huh? 